Hey guys, every so often a pen comes along that I take a look at and I put on my watch list. Here's one that was on my eBay watch list alone for uh, over a year, really. It's something I'd looked at for quite a while even before then and debated whether or not to get it. Moon Man, it is a Chinese manufacturer that I'm familiar with, uh, and this was their C1 pen. Uh, I like the looks of it. I was very familiar with Moon Man, not to mention the shape and the design of this particular pen. So I went ahead and, like I said, put it on my watch list. And for like $21 or so, uh, plus shipping with some sellers or including shipping with others, I debated whether or not to invest the money to go ahead and get this particular pen. But I went ahead and finally did it because I had some eBay bucks that I had to spend. So I figured, why not? You look right here on the case. It actually does say Moon Man here on the plastic case. It is a you know, molded plastic. And I've seen that kind of case from this company before. As a matter of fact, their Moon Man M2, which is a pen that I've had for a while and actually did like it. And I waited for a long time to get this one because they offered it usually in fine and with a spare extra fine nib. I went ahead and waited until I found one that was a medium plus a 1.1 stub spare nib and it is an eyedropper filler and it, this is still from the first filling of when I, when I got this particular pen uh, so that all that ink it's in there it's a fairly dark ink so you don't see the fact that it is fairly well depleted uh, but um, it does have one heck of an ink reservoir in it so when I saw that the C1 was also available and it could also be eyedroppered uh, and the fact that it's also both pens are a demonstrator uh, that's something that really interested me. So, a uh, fairly decent pen. I also was familiar with the Moon Man M600, very different style of pen, yet the same company. And actually, this is a fairly decent quality pen for what it is. Uh, so, I went ahead and got this. The the Moon Man C1. And uh, it has some generic instructions that come for all kinds of different filling mechanisms, which is actually kind of neat. Um, obviously, it's not tailored for this, but uh, whether you've got a button filler or an eyedropper, or you have a plunger filler, or a vac filler, or a piston filler, or um, you know, a uh, cartridge converter, it's all right here in this instruction booklet which is actually not a bad thing, uh, I thought, to cover all the bases. Uh, so it comes and it shows up like this. Now, the only thing that really disappointed me about it thus far is when I saw the packaging and how it was shown, it actually had a very nice presentation box that it was going to come in, but all it came in was this plastic case. So I have not inked this baby up. What you see is exactly what I saw when I got it. So I haven't done anything to it yet. I'm going to ink it up and you're going to see my first impression of it uh, as I go to use it. Uh, it does have a fine nib on it rather than like a medium because I only saw fine nibs that were on it. Uh, so all right, let's give it a try. That's one of the things that really held me off from purchasing it was because it was the fine nib. Uh, but it's got a nice cylindrical uh, setup here. And one of the things I do like is the cap does meet the barrel and it is very smooth. One of the other things it does have too is there is one flat side right here. Uh, and that was meant to be kind of a roll stop or at least it'll sit flat on the table and hopefully not roll because when it goes to roll otherwise it's going to keep rolling because it's not flat enough in order to stop it from rolling uh, but maybe it will help it not begin to roll in the first place. You get a very flat finial there. One of the things, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see where it's kind of concave a little bit on that end and concave a little bit there as well. Now I've heard some people complain that that's because the drill bit that they're using you know, has the, the, the tip that comes down more to a point um, and they didn't flatten it down on the inside. That part doesn't bother me. I'm not offended by that uh, in terms of how that goes. So you unscrew that and you get that clear acrylic cap, that clear plastic cap. Uh, one of the things that did impress me about it, however, is whenever you put it together, it screws together really quickly, uh, and you don't have to fight for where that thread begins, and every single time it goes back together, that flat will line up no matter what. That's one thing that did impress me about it. So, open it back up, and you look, and it comes 
with um, instead of a clear acrylic for a section it does kind of have that red mottled look to it it is a cartridge converter at first if you want but it also can be if you so choose it can be an eyedropper filler as a matter of fact all right not only do they give you a converter to put into it if you so choose they do give you a little pipette that if you choose to eyedropper fill this barrel you can of course you might want to put some silicone grease there on the threads uh, but you can actually look at the ink slosh around if you so choose I'm probably not going to do that first time around I have had a few issues with some eyedropper pens that Moonman M2 I've not had a single issue with it but I'm going to uh, show you another pen here that is along the exact same idea this is from Sean Newton uh, from Newton pens uh, Sean is a custom manufacturer and you can really see some similarities here this is the Shinobi or as I have named it Obi-Wan this is my Obi-Wan Shinobi and it's a nice rounded clear acrylic just like that particular Moonman C1 it's just a whole lot bigger here you've got a little steel nib probably a number five or number six nib um, and you look at here it's got a number eight Bach titanium nib the nib alone costs many more times uh, than that. As a matter of fact, this pen here in my hand here is about 20 times. You can get about 20 of these for the, what I paid for this. But you got the very same idea here. And one of the things I did on this particular pen is um, I went ahead and eyedroppered it at first, but there was some leakage down in around here. So even with uh, some uh, some grease that was on here, I didn't have a leakage here but down and through here actually had some leakage so I had stopped eyedroppering it and unfortunately here it doesn't always line up on that flat so uh, whenever you put that back together sometimes you gotta be careful about how you put that back together but still it's actually a great writing pen phenomenal writing experience with it um, and it, I like the size of it well that's what kind of intrigued me about whether or not eh, do I go ahead and buy this mini version of it the mini me so I went ahead and got it. So like I said, this is an eyedropper filler if you so choose. It takes a good many screw turns in order to get that to seat. I'm still turning and there, finally, that's how long it took to turn with those screws on here. And I guess that's not a bad thing if you're trying to prevent leakage coming out of here and if you're gonna eyedropper it. So there you go. The Moonman C1. First impressions. I like the way it looks. Um, I like the way it holds. I like the idea. It can be eyedroppered. I like the clear acrylic. I'm actually a fan of demonstrator pens. I'm not a fan of the fact I can only find this in a fine nib. I don't know how it writes yet. You and I will find out together here very shortly. up the Moonman C1 off camera and what I did was I put in some of this Waterman uh, inspired blue it's uh, a, a lighter blue ink and it's one of the newer bottles that I've bought I'm used to the darker blues but I went ahead and got a lighter blue and one of the reasons I went with this is that if I was going to eyedropper it I would think that I might put in maybe a teal or a lighter blue because it's actually prettier to watch slosh around inside that pen uh, quite honestly in this it's kind of it's a little dark um, it writes fine I have no problem with it uh, because it is a, a well writing pen um, but the ink slosh, gee, that kind of takes the fun out of the demonstrator because it's so dark. So you don't get to see that nice light colored. But anyway, so here you go. Uh, one of the things too, you may or may not be able to see here, it didn't have a tremendously full ink fill, but close enough for now. It, it's still got a decent fill. Uh, four or five times actually moving that piston up and down on that converter. And I still don't have a totally full but we'll see how she goes. Take that off. You're not going to post this pen because it's not meant to be able to post. There's just no way you're going to get that on there. 
So let's go ahead and put nib to paper for the first time so you can see it just as I'm seeing it. And uh, you'll get the same impression perhaps that I am getting. This is the the Moon Man C1. This has a fine steel nib. Uh, and this is a fairly firm nib. You can get a little bit of line variation, apparently, if you go ahead and you flex on it just a little bit. It's not the smoothest nib in the world. I mean, I didn't expect a whole lot for it. Uh, if you're going to charge $20, $21 for a pen, uh, I would expect just a little better, but you know, I, I will probably spend some time uh, with some micro mesh maybe and smooth that nib out just a little bit to make it more to my liking. Um, again, I have a bias personally against fine nibs. I don't love fine nibs. I'm more of a medium nib guy. Uh, extra fines definitely not in my wheelhouse. So even a fine nib, however, if you can get it good and smooth, will give you good performance. So I'll see if I can smooth this one out just a little bit to make it more to my liking. It is not, however, unacceptable. This is an acceptable pen. It's something that I will use. Uh, it'll be inked up for a while. Not as long as that uh, Moon Man uh, M2, uh, because obviously I don't have this eyedropper and have this humongous reservoir here for ink capacity. I've only got that converter that's in here, so uh, I will probably run out of this ink a whole lot sooner and probably change out the ink uh, a lot sooner than I would on the other. But I wouldn't hesitate to pick this up and write with it. It's just a matter of personal preference to want to smooth it out just a little bit. But I cannot tell you long term the reliability of it because this is my first impression of it. This is my first time being able to pick it up and write with it. And I wanted to share that with you here on this video, first and foremost, because it's such a, a clear demonstrator to show you what it looked like without having had it inked up and what it looks like fresh out of the box. So there you go. So far, impressions, 21 bucks. Is it worth it? Yeah, you know, considering how much I paid for the Sean Newton pen, if you want uh, basically a miniature cheaper knockoff of the whole concept. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something a lot more cost effective. I had $7 and some $7.50 in eBay bucks I had to spend. Um, and so, you know, I got this cheaper, obviously, than the $21 um, shipping included price on eBay that I got it. So that made it worth it to me, definitely, after having had it on my wish list for like over a year, to go ahead and bite at the apple and go ahead and get the Moon Man C1. So there you go. Just about everything you would probably want to know uh, about a, uh, a Chinese pen that is a, actually a nice looking demonstrator. I do like how it looks. Obviously, there's no clip, so you're not going to clip it into your pocket. You're going to have to put it into uh, like a case and carry it, or slip it into a pocket, or even a pocketbook. It's that clear ac acrylic, so will you get some scratching? Yeah, I would put, definitely put it into a pen case or a pen sleeve uh, so that I don't get it all scuffed up. Um, and it's going to roll, so let me... <laughs> so I'm going to put it right there. You see how it's not rolling, but once it starts rolling, watch. It'll roll some with that flat, and sometimes it'll, I've had it actually playing with it here on my desk where it's rolled even more than that. So if you just put it down and, now well, there you go. You may get some rolling. But that flat does work to an extent, and it does help it prevent starting to roll. So the Moon Man C1, you know, um, if you can get a good price on it. It, it's worth having just as either A, a novelty, or B, you know, uh, hopefully a reliable pen. Uh, I'll know more in the future as to how reliable it is. But if it's like any of the other Moon Man products that we've got, we've got another, you know, between me and my wife and my son, we got another four or five Moon Man pens here in the house, and they actually perform fairly well. So there you go. The Moon Man C1, clear demonstrator, uh, nice little cylindrical pen that you might want to consider adding to your collection.